in session betting 101 it's time josh applebaum joining us on vsin the sports betting network danny burke live from the south point hotel casino and spa vsin's betting reporter josh applebaum at josh underscore insights mr applebaum how you doing today danny i'm doing great happy weekend we got a lot to get to here so uh can use this uh, this break from from sports betting here to really go to school and help new betters understand how how betting works, now to take advantage of certain scenarios. So I'm uh, looking forward to it, Danny. Absolutely. And if you didn't know, Josh Applebaum, the offer of the Everything Guide to Sports Betting. So be sure to check that book out as well. But we're going to do it here, Josh, as well. We're going to get your thoughts on everything starting from scratch. So let's start right from the beginning. A basic money line. What is a money line? How is it set? Let's hear it from you, starting from square one. Exactly. So uh, when you're betting on sports, you have to know your options here. So the money line is basically determining who's going to win the game straight up. So the money line, you know, if you take a step back when the odds makers set a line, what they do is they first determine a favorite uh, and an underdog, also known as a dog. And the favorite is really the stronger team, the team that is expected to win. The underdog is the, uh, you know, the, the, the team that's a little inferior and expected to lose the game. However, you know, almost all the time, or not all the time, but a vast majority of time, favorites will win matchups. It makes sense. They're the better team. However, it's not always that favorites are just the team with a better record. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, you could be looking at, um, you know, how teams are playing recently, home field advantage, uh, injuries, even weather, uh, stuff like that. But the money line, you're looking at just who's going to win win the game straight up. So uh, because favorites tend to win most of the games, odds makers have to set um, pros and cons for betting favorites and dogs. Because if it was you know, the same price for favorites and dogs, everyone would bet favorites. The book would get killed overall. So when you're looking at a money line, uh, the, the favorite will have a minus number in front of them. Uh, that's letting you know that you have to lay that number uh, on the money line in order, in order to cash your bet. Uh, a dog will get a plus sign in front of them. So you consider dogs as a plus money opportunity. A favorite will be a minus opportunity. So uh, your most, you know, f- money lines are available across pretty much all sports. They're most common in uh, baseball and hockey. Um, we'll talk about spreads in a minute. That's mostly for basketball and football. But a good example would be, you know, if you're looking to bet a game straight up, doesn't matter how many uh, runs or goals or points they win by. They could win by one. They could win by 100. Uh, you, you would cash your bet either way if you bet on the correct side. Uh, but when you're looking at money lines, you know, for example, let's say you want to bet a baseball game. The Chicago Cubs are a minus 150 favorite. In order to bet on the Cubs, you know, you'd have to risk $150 in order to win 100. So when you're when you're betting a favorite, you take on a little more risk just because they're basically uh, favored to win the game. So there has to be a risk first reward. Now, if the Cubs win that game, you would get the hundred, um, the 150 that you risked, you'd get that back, plus you'd win 100. Now on the flip side, let's say the Cubs are playing the Pirates and the Pirates are a plus 130 underdog. What that means, if you bet $100 on the Pirates to win the game and they win the game, and the dog upsets and wins, you would win $130, plus you'd get your $100 back. So in the end, talking about favorites and dogs and the money line, just remember, money line, it doesn't matter the margin of victory, you're just looking at who's gonna win the game straight up and in terms of favorites, they're more likely going to win, but you're also paying a higher price. Underdogs, they're more likely going to lose, but you're getting a bigger payout when they win. So uh, always keep in mind, money line, you, it always is abbreviated to ML. Look at the plus sign. If either there's a plus in front of a number, that means they're the underdog. If there's a minus, that means they're the favorite. And always remember, there's risk versus reward. Favorites win most of the time, but you're, pay, but you're laying a bigger price. Dogs win less, but you're getting a better payout. So a better show is keep keep in mind the pros and cons of betting on the money line. We're chatting betting 101 with VEASAN's betting reporter Josh Applebaum at Josh underscore insights is where you can follow him on Twitter, focusing on the money line in particular to get things rolling. Now, Josh, what affects a money line necessarily? A lot of times we see these odds shift throughout the course of a week, specifically in football, but even on a day-to-day basis. So what factors really you know, differentiate a money line from when it started to when it ends. What What's the outcome of these effects? Yeah, so Danny, the odds makers are constantly, you know, they'll set a line first. And once they set a line, you know, they'll be using their advanced models, formulas. They lean a lot on power ratings and rankings to set a number. Uh, but they're not just setting it in a vacuum. They're making adjustments based on uh, home field advantage, the weather, injuries, who's in the lineup, who's not, um, you know, specific matchups. You know, if you look in football, maybe a team has a great offensive line, 
uh, or a bad offensive line against the great pass rush. You'll make adjustments, adjustments based on that. But then once the odds makers release the line, um, you know, they'll set that opening line. They'll, they'll allow the public to then bet on it. Uh, and then what will happen is they'll adjust that line throughout the week uh, as action comes in. So odds makers typically, uh, they're going to lean a lot on sharp money. Sharp money is basically respected money that's coming from professional bettors who have a long track record of success, who have decades of experience, and usually they're typically betting big amounts on these games. So uh, when they take in a big amount of respected money on one side, what they'll do is they'll adjust the number. So let's say on the money line, um, you know, a team might open minus 150. They're getting hit by a lot of smart money as well as some public money as well. The books will adjust a little bit from with public money, which is just basically casual money from average Joe type betters. Uh, but really, they lean mostly on adjusting lines based on respected money. But let's just say that that team opening at minus 150 is getting a big wave of bets uh, in their favor. Typically, what the odds makers and the bookmakers will do is they'll adjust that line further toward the favorite. So you got to remember, lines aren't static. Once a line is released, it's not like that line stays that way forever. It's going to move based on the action coming in. Action is fluid. It's constantly coming in on one side or the other. So if that if that team that opens minus 150 favorite is getting hit by a lot of betting and a lot of action coming in on that side, the odds makers might adjust that team from minus 150 to minus 170, you know, to minus 200. What they're doing is they're making you pay a higher price because that that is the popular side and also the books are taking in liability. And what they also want to do is when they adjust that line to the favorite, they're also giving you a better number to bet the dog. So if that dog opens plus 130, as the favorite gets uh, to a higher price, that payout on the dog maybe will go from plus 130 to plus 140 to plus 150. They're basically sweetening that number uh, with the idea of hopefully they'll take some action on the dog. It'll limit their liability. So always remember, it's not a constant situation where a line stays the same or maybe it goes up and up and up. It could go up, it could go back down. The key here is really monitoring um, the market and knowing that uh, sports betting is fluid. It's constantly changing and the odds makers will adjust these numbers based on how the action is coming in at their sports book. All right, Josh, really quick, when and why should you bet a money line? We have about 20 seconds. Yeah, so I think uh, the important thing with the money line is, uh, you know, looking for opportunities where you're maybe not confident in a team covering a spread. And we'll get to spreads in a second. You're looking at just certain situations for a team to win. Also looking at line movement, identifying sharp action. If you can pinpoint uh, line movement toward a dog or toward a favorite, you can sometimes get good, good, uh, good lower numbers or a good plus money payout on a dog. But money line opportunities are really, really important. Got to do your homework, uh, but it gives you the ability to just pick the winner, not have to worry about, worry about the margin of victory. As always, great stuff. Josh Applebaum at Josh underscore insights. Check out the VEASAN store for the latest and greatest in sports betting fashion. If you're a fan of a particular VEASAN show, we have a shirt for you, too. You'll find VEASAN hats and even VEASAN coffee mugs all in our online store. Just go to VEASAN.com slash store and order now. That's VEASAN.com slash store. Best of all, it's open 24-7, so you can shop whenever you feel like shopping. Just head to VEASAN.com slash store. That's VEASAN.com slash store. Check out the VEASAN store for the latest and greatest in sports betting fashion. If you're a fan of a particular VEASAN show, we have a shirt for you, too. You'll find VEASAN hats and even VEASAN coffee mugs all in our online store. Just go to VEASAN.com slash store and order now. That's VEASAN.com slash store. Best of all, it's open 24-7, so you can shop whenever you feel like shopping. Just head to VEASAN.com slash store. That's VEASAN.com slash store. 